What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I really don't know what is going on this holiday season. Is it Santa Claus trying to get me to get a new hairline? I don't know what it is. Is it my mom? Does she deserve a new wig? Or like Auburn Preach said, is, is he gonna buy his mom a new condo? Will it happen for me, Jesus? I'm not sure, but it looks like that these guys want me to get rich. That's what it looks like. It looks like Myron and Fresh want O'Shea Duke Jackson to go head on and buy a new hairline because the content that they keep giving me, it's almost like they love me. I don't even need to get my reparations damn near. After talking about them, I didn't already got my reparations check. I might tell them, no, I don't even want it no more. Thank you, Myron and Fresh, for these reparations. Now again, um, we all know that everything is going down bad for them. And you would think that after being down bad, you would try to stop the bleeding family. It's like you wouldn't keep going down a hole if you didn't have to, but no. It's untrue. If you are dumb like these guys, you will continue going down the rabbit hole. And that means crashing out against the Jews. We can hit that topic. I mean, look, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna end with saying this. We know who runs the central banks. We know who controls the politics here in the United States. And it's a fucking problem, right? We need to figure out a way to take our country back from these Jews. I said it, all right? Whoa. That's what the fuck it is, all right? We need to take our country back. Now, let me just say this, guys. Um. If you're gonna be on social media, going against certain groups are going to get uh, you in a lot of trouble, okay, for the most part. Uh, gays, uh, Jews, Asians, women, uh, which <laughs> these guys go after everybody, but it, it doesn't make any sense to do that, right? If you want to stay in this business, why would you invest in the business just so that you can crash out and not have the money? But this is what happens when you're not that smart. And I wanna prove this because the other day, um, Myron was on the stream with Sneak Up, and he went on this amazing, like, evil tirade about women who game. So yeah, some try to say, oh, well, like you're so mean, why are you such a bully, whatever. I'm like, Bitch, why are you on Overwatch? You need to be overwatching a kitchen and overwatching a sandwich oh for a man God. who's superior to you that's probably overwatching your dumb ass, but you're over here playing with me, running a mercy, not healing me because you game and you got no awareness because women have no awareness with anything besides how much makeup they got on their face. Oh, which by the way is almost too, always too much because it's a makeup for their lack of aesthetics. These why not video games? Back in the day, when I played video games, Halo 2, if I heard a female in the lobby, I'm like, what the f are you doing here? Give that a temple and boot out of the fucking lobby. But now these have taken over video games. Like, I'm f I haven't played in years, come back. Oh, uh, I, I'm gonna pick this character. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Why are women not video games? Why are they even streaming themselves playing video games? They f suck. Every single gamer sucks. Female gamers suck. I Said it. They're trash. They got no awareness. Nothing. They suck. And I, I sat there, guys, and I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was there reading the scriptures before I, I looked at this. You know, you guys know that I'm a Christian, so I, I really wasn't trying to hear anything negative when I was trying to get my my lesson in the Bible on. But then I thought to myself, who cares? Like, if women are gaming and they're not good and they're not making money. Like why, like, like, why does it matter to me? Like, I, I, I wouldn't sit there idly by and be like, man, them 304s over there on the game, making a lot of money. I mean, T-Pain is a gamer. If you guys don't know, T-Pain is a gamer on Twitch. T-Pain makes a lot of money gaming. But I want you to hear what he's about to say. I'm yeah, making gamer. more money off of video games than and I've made in the last four games. years. What? No, just playing them. Wait, you're making streaming. money playing video playing games. Playing video games. Absolutely. So, so that's like playing them on Twitch. Yeah. So from your Twitch stream, mm -hmm. you're getting more revenue than from music? Yeah. What Fuck the f <laughs> Yeah. What? How? It, Is that possible? I don't know. It's it's just <laughs> I mean I've, it because it's because it's authentic. Because, because it's organic. Are you good at video games? Oh no, I'm trash. <laughs> What, that's what makes it better. I mean, there there are definitely good uh, good players out there that make a ton of money, but I think the entertainment that comes from somebody like me being trash at it, 
Mm-hmm. I think that's just more valuable. Now, I, and, uh, and it's more entertaining. T Pain just said he makes more money from Twitch than music, and he sucks. He's not even good. And which is crazy because Myron the other day was begging T Pain basically to get on his stream. Which, you know, T Pain said no. He liked women, from what I understand, but this is what I'm talking about. And, and this is this is stupid. First of all, let me let me just say this, guys. There are dudes who are in this business and they go around saying the things that you heard, right? And a lot of you guys want to be able to say whatever you want to be able to say to anybody. Let me just tell you this, okay? Your ass is going to be broke like him, okay? Like some dudes just, I just don't get it, man. Okay, I, I mean, I get it. You have some frustrations here and there. Chicks do some things you don't like. I get it, right? It's messed up for a lot of guys out there. But to complain about this, but here's the worst part. He is about to crash out on a BBW. What I don't want to hear, it's about you're objectively wrong. Men created the world that you're lives in right now that you can eat the surplus calories that you do every single day <laughs> and not go to the gym whoa, that you should whoa, be attending whoa. no 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 because you got your piece can so let me go ahead and give it to you your mom let me okay oh. so the objective reality is this uh-huh. you're able to eat all the calories that you do okay. and live in the and first I'm world country that you do good, and be able to not go to the gym good. like you Stop. don't because That's men created the world that you're Lives in right now where you've been talking a bunch of shit so let me go ahead and put you in your place you're Everything. You're not attractive, Got and it. for you to Got behave it. the way that you do, uh-huh. it's a f-ing embarrassment to society. Cook. You f-ing get the f- out of my studio. <laughs> okay, so let me just put this into perspective. All of you successful uh, men out there who, you know, like I said, you feel like you have found some new knowledge out in the red pill societies, and uh, you know you want to go out and debate women. If a woman has the audacity to say how worthless men are, okay? and you are there talking to her and a woman says something like that oh you know these men are worthless out here they're not worth doing anything they're this and they're that you have an opportunity an opportunity to do what o'shea i'm glad you asked that question son you have the opportunity to get up and leave okay and the reason why you have to get up and leave is because there's no way possibly that you can win that argument or that debate and the one, one of the reasons is like if you start yelling at them are coming at them foul well then they're gonna say that you hate women you're abusing them you're gonna get you're gonna get it from that angle okay then secondarily the person in front of you obviously is not intelligent enough to have that conversation it would just be like to say all women are are not worth anything or all men are not like it doesn't make any sense to talk to someone like that and so when you have a podcast that is based on these sorts of antics disrespecting people or them disrespecting you in order for you to get views then what you want to do is to back that up by saying oh i'm just exercising my free speech like i mean i get the girl is big and she's rude okay i i I get all that but she shouldn't be there in the first place and a lot of guys have to understand that a lot of the issues that you're having with ladies are because you're talking to people that just should not be there they just shouldn't be there okay that's the reality of it all they shouldn't be there. So if they shouldn't be there, then who? Then what? What issue is that? Then then stop talking to them. They should not be there. Simple as that. Life life is so much easier when you're dealing with people who have no business there. They should not be there. We don't have any business talking to them. We don't want to talk to them. And and if you're a successful guy, you don't have to be around them. Life is so much easier not be in the same room with people who just don't have a clue. When I hear people that are talking silly like that, like if I like go to the mall and I I see some people talking about something dumb, I don't even, I'm I'm thinking to myself, "Mm, mm, mm, look at how stupid that sounds. Don't say nothing, just look at them. I wish my mom was here because she good at that. Boy, did you hear them people? Them people crazy. And that's all. And then we, and we going to keep on moving. Just keep on moving. Because you have nothing to gain from that. All you're going to end up doing is losing everything, which is what they're doing. So all that crashing out for what? Crashing out on women gamers for what? Let those girls play those games, man. Let them do what they, if they want to, if somebody wants to watch them and pay them for being, who cares? It's not that serious, bro. Take a chill pill. All right. The girls want to, you know, they want to play them little games. Are that good? Well, okay. God bless them. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Producer for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.